friends welcome to my channel diamonds and washi um, if you're new here my name is katie i just wanted to hop on and do a quick little unboxing with you guys diamond art clubs the princess and the frog my next project um it is 52 or sorry 42 by 59 centimeters and it's around and i'm coming off of kind of a large a larger project that was squares so i always like to kind of mix it up and do around after just for a change of pace so um if you've bought from diamond art club before i don't think any of this will be real shocking to you this is a little bit older kit so it doesn't does not come with one of the stickers that um is coming in the newer kits but that's okay with me um usual toolkit i tend to save the pink heart waxes just because they're a nice little backup squishy that i dropped pen baggies three placer and a little tray. I use about none of this anyway. Um, the usual colors, oh, grab the right thing here. Um, crinkle alert, let's do this the smart way. And it's a Mandy. So, of course, there's going to be lots of 310. That's funny with the gold number. I haven't seen that before. I don't know if that's an older kit thing or what. So, okay. Label is on there, too. It matters. Um, as expected, lots of greens. Let me show you the ABs. We'll look at the canvas. Oh, there they are. Hello, beautiful. I don't know if I've worked with a green AB before, so that'll be fun. I think... I don't know that there are any other ABs. It might just be the one. Quick look. Okay, I think it's just the one. I don't know. I love those teal and mint colors a lot. Okay. Let's set those to the side here and let's look at the canvas which the last project I worked on was not a diamond art club, which was completely fine. I really love the project, but I will say no one does a canvas like diamond art club does. It's so soft. I just want to pet it. Okay. The usual little instruction bit. Okay. You guys, is it funny that I consider this like a snack size painting now, especially when it's around? Princess and the Frog. Nothing surprising here. Super clear drill field. None of these are really wrinkles. Um, rendering looks wonderful. And it's a Mandy, so there's a whole heck of a lot of outlining in 310. So I'm really, really excited to work on this one. Um, I am going to go ahead and kit up. Assuming my toddler stays asleep long enough for it. Um, <laughs> So, using my Elizabeth Ward containers, I'm going to get this all kitted up, and I'm going to shift you guys into time-lapse mode, because you don't want to listen to a bunch of crap, clap, bleh, 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 plastic crinkling for a while. So, I'll put you guys into time-lapse and see you on the other side. <laughs>
All right, so we are all kitted up and ready to go. Um, this went super easily, which was refreshing because in my last kit, I had so much static in the bags that these that the drills came in um, that it took me twice as long as it takes me to kit up a diamond art club. Everything else about the painting was great, really, but kitting up took forever. Anyway, this was super zippy. If you were wondering, um, the tool that I was using to make stickers, uh, you may or may not have heard of the Zyron Sticker Maker, and I love it. It's one of my very favorite diamond painting related accessories that I've picked up on the recommendation as like is 90% of what I pick up from my enablers over on Instagram. Anyway, this kit is the first kit that I've gotten from Diamond Art Club um, that I've opened <laughs> and done that has not come with one of those um, inventory sheet stickers um, separate. The only uh, legends for this are on the canvas itself, like on the corners here. So um, what I ended up doing was I took a picture of this with my phone, uh, printed it on cardstock, and then cut it and fed it through here. And then these are actually repositionable stickers, so I can then take them off and put them on my spare drill storage bags if I want to after. Um, so huge lifesaver, time saver. Yeah, it's a convenience thing, but I really um, highly, highly recommend it, especially if um, the company you're buying from, or even if it's a Diamond Art Club kit, doesn't happen to come with that inventory sheet that you can just cut up yourself and put on your um, storage containers. So I'm really excited to get started working on this. Um, if you have anything that you would like me to show in more detail or go over when I do unboxing and kitting up videos like this, please let me know in the comments or um, send me an email because I'd love to make sure you're getting to see everything that you're wanting to see. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to get started on Miss Princess and the Frog here soon. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you are new here and you'd like to see more from me and my diamond painting shenanigans, I love it if you wanted to hit that subscribe button down there and, and join me here on my <laughs> diamond painting adventures. Um, otherwise, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!